Is this thing on? Just kidding. Hey, what's up, everybody? My name's Cody Blackman. Welcome to the very first episode of Epic Knowledge. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to get a Wi-Fi password. Ow! Have they made some improvements on Kali Linux? That is what we're going to be using today. They added extra tool. I was able to crack my own personal Wi-Fi in 11 seconds using their new tool. Hey, we're going to go over a, a specific tool they have on there absolutely amazing I'm, I was able to crack my internet using what I used to use in an hour and a half Depending on your computer speed it, it varies real easy I promise I'll spell it out step by step you need a few things flash drive at least an 8 gig black active internet connection and a computer today I'm using Windows 10 learn that from Windows 7 Windows 10 they, they changed your bios and they did all this and that so we're gonna go over all of that today uh, on a Windows 10 computer so let's get started so we're gonna make it over to Kali.org um, if you need to know anything about the website anything I'm telling you today the website actually has its own tutorials but at the top we're going to download download Kali Linux today even though our system is a 64-bit system we are gonna download the 32-bit image I did have some issues earlier with the 64-bit so I don't know if it's the image on the website or, or whatever but um, let's do 32-bit today it will still run on any 64-bit system we also gonna run over to uh, pendrivelinux.com it's an excellent website for uh, installing any Linux through a USB and it even has its own walkthroughs on it but we're gonna download the download links right in the middle of the website itself so um, when that's done we can get that running this would be about the time we'd put the flash drive in the computer we can go ahead and knock that out we want to go ahead and format it as well so find your flash drive under my computer this PC and go to format we can just do a quick format delete the volume label and uh, so that way it's prepared for Linux to be loaded up on it it takes just a second on that Next, we're going to go ahead and uh, run our U Universal USB installer. So we're going to scroll down on this top menu, go down to Kali Linux. We're going to browse for that image, the i386, I believe. Wherever you put it, I organized all my stuff into folders on the desktop. You can leave it in the downloads folder, it doesn't really matter. And then make sure you select your correct USB drive. Then you want to hit next and uh, yes, and this this takes a minute. It takes about 15 minutes, so just hang tight. I'm gonna go ahead and skip forward, so it's done now. And uh, make sure you scroll up. There's a couple er areas where it will say errors. We want to make sure we have no errors. Um, this one does not. This is a good example. Now we're gonna get into the nitty gritty stuff. So holding shift, go to your power options and hit restart. Um, there's another way to do this you can actually uh, type in startup and it will you can hit advanced startup settings but I like this method better um, this method also is a backdoor for a computer with a password on it but anyways it'll bring up this menu uh, we're gonna go to troubleshoot and advanced options and startup settings and uh, it that little button will give you an option to restart your computer now this applies to like Windows 10 and Windows 8 it, Windows 7 it really it's actually really easy but uh, then uh, to get into my startup settings I'm gonna go ahead and go over some of the BIOS settings as well so I'm gonna start hitting escape because that's my button on my laptop different manufacturers have different buttons so escape gets me up to this menu which then I can hit F10 and bring up my BIOS now I uh, thought maybe my BIOS would have updated with the Windows 10, but it did not. Um, I do not have the secure boot options. Uh, it just kind of added a quick load option on it with the Windows 10. So, um, and so there's no settings like that we need to disable, unlike a Windows 8 laptop. But anyways, we can navigate over to the boot device, and uh, mine's already set up with the USB on it. But uh, if it's not you can move it up ahead of the notebook hard drive it's no big deal it won't mess anything up it, uh, as long as you don't have anything plugged in so we can cancel out of all of that and hit F10 to save even though I didn't do anything 
So now it's going to load like normal. And uh, with the USB in the computer, this whole time it would have been in, uh, we can go down to the third option, Live Forensics Mode. And Kali Linux will load all of its stuff. Uh, this is a live mode. It doesn't install anything onto your hard drive or anything whatsoever. It's, it's strictly the USB that we just put it all on. And uh, we can let it run through all this. It takes just a minute or two. Um, what you could do is pretend to type and make everybody around you that might be watching think you're actually like doing some really intense stuff. But really, it's all just the operating system loading. It's all very visual, unlike Windows. Also, another thing, please use this wisely. Do not use this to test your own internet. Do not use this to test the integrity of others. Uh, there are career fields in this, so hopefully maybe this inspires somebody to pick up Kali Linux and really check it out. I have lots of features. So, with it loaded, we're going to run over here to Terminal. We're going to type in one word, Wi-Fite, W-I-F-I-T-E. Now I'll bring up this screen. Now we're going to do a scan. We're going to do a quick scan, but uh, when we're done scanning, the way to advance to the next screen, uh, you would hold down Control-C on your keyboard. Uh, just tap it, actually, really, like what Windows would be on copy. Um, just hit that, and it'll bring up this thing where you get to pick a number. We're gonna pick number two because that's the one I'm. That's my Wi-Fi. That's the one I'm gonna get today. And uh, another thing I just did is I hit the Control C again. There are a total of three different attacks that it will actually do. Uh, the WPS Pixie attack. That's a new one for me. Um, didn't didn't notice that until I did my test run before this video. And uh, yeah, that that got my password in 11 seconds. So we're gonna skip that right now. We're gonna do the uh, old-fashioned way, which. Uh, was what I used to use. It takes about an hour and a half, um, but it's just the WPS pin attack. Uh, there's 99,999,999 possibilities, so it's going to run through all of them or uh, until it figures it out. Um, you'll notice the 0 slash 0 success slash TTL. Um, not 100 percent what those numbers will mean, but they'll start going up after about a minute or two. Also, another thing, the scan when you when we type in Wi-Fi initially, we normally would let it scan for you know two to three minutes. Uh, you know, give it a good scan. It'll it'll even detect clients. Uh, there's even a third attack in which it will uh, send deauthorizes to everybody and attempt to try to catch the handshake in between the the computers and and cell phones, whatever uh, connecting back to the router. It will it will try to detect all of that so we let it run for a while this this one we run for a while so like I said I hit control C I canceled the pixie attack real quick otherwise it just would have been unfair and my password have been revealed actually I am gonna go over the pixie attack after this but this is the way I want to show everybody I went and tried it on one more router at my dad's house and uh, you know the pixie attack does not is not very effective against his so I guess it depends on your router and your settings so uh, up there where I hit two as well I, you could also type in all and uh, it'll give it all a chance but really you wanna you wanna go after uh, mine has WPS and the power is should be in the green uh, according to this example it's not but it would been up there in the 60 70 decibel range we don't want to go after anything in the red decibel range because it more than likely won't work. But as you can see, we got the uh, you know success slash TTL. It's counting up now, so it kind of makes you feel like it's doing something. But uh, we're gonna fast forward this. We're gonna go all the way to the end. So after an hour and a half, we well, got my password, and uh, it'll just display it right there in the middle of the screen. My password is hello mate. And uh, it took an hour and 34 minutes, so it's not a quick process. I think it all depends on your computer hardware. So, um, and it even gives you your WPS pin. So after that, it quits out automatically, and there you go. Just write it down, or otherwise you'll have to redo it. It doesn't actually save anywhere that I know of. 
And I'm also going to go over the pixie attack, actually, real quick. Uh, it just really amazed me when I did it. So, you know, once again, control C, uh, hit 2, and, and boom, it just automatically does it. And this is incredible. I've never seen anything uh, tear into my Wi-Fi so quick. But uh, for me, that attack simply did it. Uh, like I said, I, I tried it on, on my dad's router, and it wasn't quite as effective, so... So, was that easy or what? You know, everybody, let me know what you think. hope I was able to spell it out easy enough for everybody to follow along. Uh, definitely, if you have any questions. This video was uh, using a laptop that went from Windows 7 to Windows 10. So, that does kind of make a, a difference. Hopefully, I can get another video where I, I do a Windows 8 to uh, Kali Linux. If you have any questions, let me know. Definitely, uh, I, I can point you in the right direction on the Windows 8 stuff. So. Thank you for watching. Uh, be tuned. I do have more videos to come. Uh, password attacks and uh, password breaking videos and very, very easy stuff. I plan to make them very easy to follow. So please subscribe and, you know, if you have any questions, comment below. Thank you.